This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed. On YouTube, and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook.
Okay, I did a run through without any audio to show you guys the basic routine of what the thing is in the order that I do it. <clears throat> so I figured I would actually go back over it so you guys uh, know what, what I was doing here. Now, last night I missed it and I um, did everything out of order, not the way that I was supposed to do. And what I usually do is I do all of my blend, I pull all the blend files up that I'm going to be using all at once. Then I go through and I put the videos onto the blend file with the, the um, effect strip on, on it to make the video stretch out to as long as it needs to be. And I always make sure that the video is the same size as the audio because the audio can't be changed. The video has to cannot apply the speed. And that's what I do on each of these right here. Now, once I'm done with all that, then I come up here and I hit render animation because if I don't by the time I get to the seventh or eighth video it's pretty much uh, the my computer is pretty much slowed down for its pain but so before I even do any of that I come up here and I take and I check all my stuff out. Um, this right here it for me Every time I put a video on, it doesn't matter what I put those settings to at the beginning. If I put a new video on, it automatically takes the uh, frame rate from the custom at FPS at 12 up to 30. So every time, so for me now, I'm going to have to put videos on and then change that around each time on each of them. Uh, I did my first. Uh, 11 uh, videos and I've got eight of them already done so what I did is I came in here and I just set them all up to video 9 because the last one is video 7 or 8 up here so I did this one 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 all right I did that and there's one thing else that I do want to explain to you too that I, I showed this to you and the reason why I showed this to you is because I wanted to explain something I discovered last night and I didn't know before because when I first used uh, Blender it started out with uh, 62 or 64 bit and it was real slow on my computer so I dropped down to 32 bits well, this time when it upgraded, it didn't give me the option of 32 bits, but I found out that when they first create a blend file, they do two of them. Like this one has two working with audio and video. This one has two working with audio and video one, and so forth. Now, the reason why they do that is because this first one is 64 bit, and the second one is 32 bit. So I have the option of using 32-bit on here. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I've watched a lot of tutorials and I've never heard anybody mention it. So I figured it would be something that was worth talking about mentioning. With that being said, too, um, earlier I was talking about um, the file format and the container, right? Now, um, I have Matroska here, and on 64-bit shows WebM here, but on 32-bit it doesn't show Matroska. That's what I was showing before. Um, also down here, it shows WebM. See, it doesn't show Matreska as a container in 32 bits. But 
it does show it as a video code. WEBN slash DP. So that was something else I wanted to show. Even though it is optional on here for using it for 64 bit, it still doesn't work on this. Now, it could be because I'm using a full 1.8 uh, uh, blend file. So next time I do a new project, I'll do it on a fresh blend file that's straight from 1.83, I believe it is. And we'll see if that helps with the problem because I have still, I'm still going to try to do this. And I hope that I covered everything. I'm not sure if I did, but basically what I do is I do that process for all of my raw files until they're completely done and they're transferred over to my long unfinished files where I take and right now all I'm doing is worrying about getting the size of the file straightened out and the speed. In the long unfinished files I'll be working on doing transitions and making sure that the audio is the right level and stuff like that. I'm not real sure how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to wing it. I'll make videos as I go about it so that you guys uh, know how I do this. Um, and then the way I usually do it is I work on the video first, then the audio, then the finishing touches. And that's one trick that I learned whenever I was doing the audio or the tutorials on LinkedIn. I took their suggestions on I'm going to try to work on keeping my transitions low because they said that transitions are too noisy, which I don't agree with because you see it on a lot of shows all the way back into the 80s and stuff. Like Nash Bridges and Mannix, you know, they have tons of uh, transitions, so I don't see where that actually makes sense. But I'm going to follow it and see if I can come up with something good on my video editing. And, uh, you know, working on transitions, fitting them in. And then finally, I'm going to have to adjust my audio and video with my voice according to the background music that I'm going to put in. I'm going to put the background music at point of one, and then the video's audio has to go up to ten because of my voice. I have a soft voice that's not really good when it comes to recording. So that's what I'll be doing there in the first in finishing uh, touches with the video. I might put, you know, my Facebook uh, YouTube logo on there, my name and stuff, and the brand name. So let me get off here and go ahead and continue with my editing. Transitions and things of that nature. Also, that I have to add the ending and the beginning to the videos and stuff. But, uh, <clears throat> right now, this is off of my phone with OBS. And <clears throat> I have all of the videos that I just did down in uh, working with audio and video in the mom and finished. Uh, I'm going to finish videos with uh, Unity. Now, these are what I have here, but I've also got. I'm not sure I do this one because I don't want to. I don't want to uh, have that extra window. This is. Put 
Here. <clears throat> now this one is uh, eight eighty five point one millibytes. That's uh, the first one. So and over here, uh, check this one. The first one here, a chat one. This is uh, six point fifteen millibytes. But I believe this one has two videos. <clears throat> So this one has 381 megabytes, and this one has 31.6 megabytes. Now what I'm doing is I'm just showing the difference in video size and how I'm going to do the audio plus to see how my audio will show up. It all basically, it, it came to like 27 videos or something. 24, 24, and 18, 19, 21, 20. They're all unorganized. I have to come through here and fix them and put them in the right space. But Here's, uh, I believe this one I, I didn't have audio. But if it does have audio, I will put it to a good audio. I mean, it, it, it was crackly when the blender was doing its job, so that could, that could be caused from the slowdown. Because <clears throat> this takes a lot of, it slows my computer down quite a bit of what it's doing. Yeah, see that's actually a lot better, and with Blender I can uh, modify the audio to make it louder. I can also do that with OBS, so the audio being low like that's not a problem. I have to change the audio uh, level anyhow, because I want to put back one of the new ones. And let's see, that's 21, let's see if I can find 22. Together, it came up to 27, and I I had to combine quite a bit bit of them on there, so because they were shorter, I just put them together. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-one. 
So basically what I do now is I come in here and I'm I'm done with all of these. I just go ahead and I delete those because I don't need them anymore. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut these. I'm gonna bring them over here and put them in gaming with infamous and Videos. Now, I was thinking about using these in uh, working with audio and video as well as working with gaming with infamous, but I changed my mind and I was going to go ahead and uh, edit this out and make it a little bit cleaner. But to me, I think my best bet is try to work with getting this all put together on good video um, and making you know, material like that. Um, with that being said, I'm not going to edit through it, take the, or take the voice out, like I was saying. And I'm not going to do it for both. Uh, that's this tricks with news, unboxed, and uh, gaming with him. Just going to do it with uh, Franklin County Internet Gaming Society. And I will add this video that I'm recording right now that that'll be added to um, working with audio and video and the good thing about that is, is I have my own uh, audio or yeah my own videos set up in all videos for uh, working with audio and video because I've been going through and monitor videotaping everything that I'm doing at this point. So that's what I've got to show. I'm going to uh, let's see how much time I've got. I've already got nine minutes now. You know, I know everything I'm saying is probably confusing, but you know, this is actually the way I have, I've had to do it. I just jump in when I do it and it works out. You know, I've tried to be structured as much as I can when it comes to this stuff. I still try to be as structured as I can, but when it comes to the actual editing and getting these videos done, that's when I just have to throw it to the wind, you know, because like the size of the videos and the length of the speed of the videos, that I have no control over. And that's something that I've had to work with, you know, with just being able to accept the fact that I have no control over the video, that sometimes the outcome is just as much as of a surprise as actually doing it, you know, so. With that, I will get off of here, and I'm going, I, I might do some more videos concerning I've, I've gone through the basics already at the beginning of it about what I'm going to be doing. I'm doing the transitions, adding uh, introductions into the videos, music, you know, so I don't really think I need to make any more videos concerning this stuff. So I'm going to get off of here and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you. This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed.
on YouTube, and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.